Hello there people, Snow Crash here, back on Hurt World, and if I get off there and get back into there, um, I don't normally record at night time, there's the moon, isn't it nice? Why am I, why am I recording at night time? Because I got these things, these uh, wall torches, and I've got them on, aren't they beautiful? Look at it, lighting up my crappy little base, making it look beautiful out here at night time, and there's our two drills. That's right, I got a drill working in the last episode and I have been cranking these away for days and they have generated a crap load of metal. We've got the blue, the red, the green, mondinium, nultranium, titranium, it's awesomeanium and nothing in there and I made two more storage cabinets because it was just pumping out the stone and I needed somewhere to put it and I've had to come on here maybe once or twice a day, keep the oranges getting mouldy, collecting some ash, and uh, keeping these fueled up with gasoline. And basically, uh, a full stack of gasoline here will give you um, about eight hours or nine hours of operation. Now, these things pull out everything, including coal, which is one more item than they have slots for. But one cool thing is if, so you've got to sacrifice like stone or something. If I take the stone out, put a, a coal in there, it'll start making coal. If you burn coal though in here, it will actually feed any mined coal back into its fuel slot. Now it's not um, perpetual motion, so it does not pull out coal as fast as it burns it, but it does keep it burning for a lot longer. Anyway, they have been working like a little treat. We've been gathering all the things. We've got all the stones so we can do a lot of building. And more importantly, we've got a lot of metal here to uh, smelt down. So I'm going to grab all this. I left it in there. Uh, didn't need to pull it out. I think what we'll do is, yeah, we'll grab the lot. Yep, we'll leave the stone in there. We don't need that right now. And I'm going to get to... Now, these things are cool. These things. They turn themselves off when it's daytime, which is good because if you've like got a massive base and it's like you, can't, you don't have windows, they actually tell you when it's daytime outside, which is pretty handy because, as we know, at nighttime it gets cold and all that sort of thing. And... Uh, we have no gasoline in there. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get up with smelting all that metal down. And you know what that means. Oh, yeah. I think you know. It means we're going to b weapons of mass destruction, assault rifle, auto. I've got enough. And I've got enough. Yeah, it's just all good. We've got our pelts in here. There they are. Yep. Fully automatic. Looks like an M4A1, I don't know, 5.56, high velocity, yeah, hang on, no more bolt action, oh, I'm out of ammo, alright, I'm going to get on with smelting, back in a moment. Okay, I'm back and I've, yes, I've finished smelting all that metal goodness, turn that off, had to make some more gasoline, that's okay, uh, we're going to get rid of this stone here, just tidy up our inventory a little bit stone in there and it's gonna happen it's happening peeps we're gonna make the fully auto rifle uh, too excited don't know what to click uh, that one that one we need our pelts from our bunnies and we'll put that in there oh yeah it's so good all right we've got it <laughs> Let's, uh, let's put that there. We may still need our bolt action because one thing I just noticed uh, while I was checking this out was it does 20 player damage and 20 creature damage. The bolt action does 50 to players and 55 to creatures. So you've got to hit almost 2.5 rounds into an animal to do the same damage as the bolt action, which, yeah, I don't know. But one thing we are going to need is more ammunition so we've got different bullets so we can use the metal uh sorry the 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 shaped iron to make 20 rounds uses four and eight of the fat geez we don't have much we're gonna have to go and kill some more piggies oh hang on so we've got uh one red and only two makes ten what's this oh yeah this is the stuff 
One green bar, two fat, that's what we want. We do have, look, we've got this stuff, I wouldn't say it's pouring out with the two drills, but it's definitely, if I keep those drills going, we're going to have plenty of green, uh, green bars. So ammo, I don't know if it's going to be much of a problem. Let's, how much, what's a clip in this thing? Uh, it doesn't say. I'm going to take a guess, probably 20 or something like that. Okay, let's just keep making some more here. Yeah, look, let's just use up all the fat. We don't need it for anything else. i tell you what did use a lot of the fat. Those uh, wall torches, those nighttime torches that I had on the side of the house, they were 40 fat each. All right, 140 rounds of goodness. Here we go. Um, uh, well, I guess, well, how do I load it? Oh, there we go. All right, now how many rounds did that use? 100. So it's 30, 30 rounds a clip. That makes sense. Oh, all right, and it's raining. It's not really the best environment to be shooting in, in the, in the rain, but, uh, oh, that rabbit's a little far away. Okay, we need some livestock to kill. Come here, Bambi. We need to test out our new gun. There's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, here they all come. Headshots. Oh, this is just sensational. Another one. All right. Oh, okay, the uh, capacity of the magazine shown below. So I've used already 22 rounds. Okay, this thing chews through the bullets. But who cares? Look at it. Just leather. Oh, all this crap. I don't really need to pick all this up. We've got heaps of it back at base. Oh, yeah, you want some? Oh, missed. Well, wow, you got a bit close to me there. There we go. Wow, we're going to have to go and check this out on a Yeti <laughs> for sure. Just unload a clip into a Yeti. Okay, well, that is, I wouldn't say it's a game changer. I think the bolt action was a pretty nice, pretty nice piece of kit. Um, I think we've just dispensed with all the animals in this area. We've got nothing left to kill, peeps. Uh, no, nothing over here. Oh, there's a rabbit. No, missed. You know what? The bolt action, you know, it's not really that bad. I mean, it's single shot, but it just... Yeah, got him. It does the damage. Um, but look, really, you, you cannot... You got 30 rounds, and you can empty this thing, like, so fast. Yeah, like, just the delivery of damage. You're talking... 400, uh, how much was it? 20 a shot. Uh, you're talking in the range of like, I don't know, hundreds of damage in a few seconds. So, but yeah, it chews through the, chews through the resources. But we don't care. We're rich now. We've got the drills running. So we probably will go on a Yeti hunt. The other thing I want to get done is, yeah, get a garage, do a new house. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to just tidy things up a little, organise my inventory, maybe collect a little wood, come back, and we're going to do something else. You know what we're going to do? We're going to jump on our quad bike here and not try to run over logs. And we need more pig fat for ammo. So I thought, what what better way to test this thing out so that we can get more ammo by using more ammo to kill pigs to get more ammo? So the pigs live over here, I believe. And now the, the difference is that I don't think uh, the, there's strange pigs. They look like mutant pigs over there and they don't drop the pig fat. So I need to find, uh, yeah, I need to find a place where the pigs spawn and lots of them. So, and so that I don't make you nauseous with all the bobbing up and down of this quad bike uh, I'm going to get over to pig land and uh, back in a moment oh, I think we found the place peeps this is it uh, oh here we go as soon as I fire this oh okay they take a few shots but we are going to have a lot of pigs on us and a lot of deer here we go <laughs> look at this it's like a turkey shoot Okay, this guy. Jeez, oh, I hate these things. Okay, I think that's it. No, I can hear more honking, onking, oinking. There we go. And another one. <laughs> and 
and another. Yeah, no, you, you do have to be careful. I've, I've experienced it before. These guys come at you. If there's three or four on you, you're dead. Is that it? Holy moly. Right, well, that certainly uh, just emptied that field. All right. So let's uh, let's just collect all our loot. And... Yeah, we got all the things. All right, I'm just going to kill... Oh, that one flew into the sky. We're going to kill some more pigs here and basically go back to base. It's getting really dark. I can't even see these guys here. I'm getting cold. And then we'll take it from there. Snow crash, pig hunter. <laughs> oh my god, I probably pulled like a million of these things. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, it's all happening now. I can hear them, they're everywhere. Oh no, reload. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. It's just so derpy. All right, uh, guys. I um I came back. I'm coming back. Oh, I'm getting cold now. Coming back from base. I just went back after the nighttime pig shoot. Uh, made up some more ammo and uh, thought I'd just come out again, get a little bit more. And there's some more over there. Uh, just come back out, sort of around here where these yetis are, uh, where these yetis are hanging out. Now it's raining. That's not always good. You get soaked and uh, wet and stuff, but that's okay. All right, now the Yetis. I'm confused where I am. All right, they're over here, where this uh, dome thing is. Now I can't go pulling. Oh, there's some more loot. Oh, screw it. I've got so much loot. I can't go shooting rifles around here, like, like just go and try to gun down the Yeti because it's gonna pull the whole paddock of 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 animals here. And we'll shoot it off. And, it, and so we need to sort of just clear out the area a little like that and just keep going here's another one trying to sneak up on me body shots we don't want that we want head shots don't want to be wasting this ammo uh, I think we're good I think that's about it how much pig fat have we got I put another 60 or 70 back in base so uh, we've got enough to make like 500 rounds so I don't really think it's a problem I uh, will pick up this close stuff. All right, now the Yeti is just should be just over there if it hasn't already spawned, and uh, some more pig fat there, animal fat, whatever. All right, now we'll move up. Now obviously we haven't pulled everything because there's that thing. Whoop, wrong key. There's that thing there. There are no spitters. I'm not even going to bother with it. All right, okay. Hopefully, oh, I can see the Yeti over in the distance there. Uh, we've got a few more animals incoming. There's a pig there. And... Oh, there's more here. They're just unrelenting. Alright. Okay, so that sh certainly should have thinned out things a little. I don't want to get too far from my quad bike as well if, if something goes wrong. Now, we've got a, about three clips left. Oh, there's more pigs, is there? This is crazy. Should be using the bolt action for this. Now, I do now have... Uh, he's running back. I do have some ammo. I've got five rounds in my bolt action in case I get into trouble. Um, but what I... Uh, I don't know. Should I get up on the rock? Or should we just try to get this guy? It's getting dark now. It's getting dark real quick. No, that's not going to be good. All right. I'm going to sit it out here. Um, I don't have any wood or anything. But I might just uh, go and collect some logs, make a fire, back in the morning, I think. All right, it's, uh, it's back morning. I'm getting pretty cold too. And there's that Yeti. It's a little bit close for my liking. I think what we'll do is get a bit of distance. It's going to be harder to hit, but we're going to be able to get off more rounds before it actually gets to us. Look, I, I don't think it should take more than a clip. We put... I don't think it should take more than a clip, but anyway, uh, let's just reload and let's get into it. See if this is... Oh, actually, you know what I should do? Bolt action and switch. Yeah, I'm getting critic... Oh, down! Oh, that's... Okay, that's <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I thought. Just get rid of these stragglers here. 
All right. Yep. Bolt action to the head and then a few auto rounds to the face and we're good. He's down. Man, that was easy. Okay. And we got some pelts and some dead pigs. So, just up the road here. I'm knocking that cold because it's daytime. It's just morning. There is some more yetis up this way. I think I might head up here. Try that same trick again. I think the key is to get those critical critical hits. If you don't get those off... Ah... Uh, yeah, now we're going to have to contend with a whole bunch of animals again. I don't think I've got enough ammo for that. Alright. I think I'm going to head back to base now with my pelts. And we might do some building. That's what I think we're going to do. Enough shooting, enough destruction. Alright, uh, just pulling into base here and... Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect... Yeah, I'm going to go on a real mission now and collect a stack of... Stack more wood than this. And... Yeah, there's logs everywhere. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of wood. So, a lot of wood. Got stone. Uh, I might grab some more limestone while I'm at it. I saw plenty of nodes down that way. So, yeah, it's material gathering time. Then I'll be back. Then we're going to do something. Before I do that, I am going to make the gold axe because we can <laughs> uh do we have five amber yes we do this this is going to be good um we need our old axe stick it in there make me an axe don't ask me why i'm assuming this thing oh, thinks things a beast where's a log never anything to mine when you need it okay here we go you Get a bit of gold axe into you. Yeah, yeah, shake your head all you like. Okay, and here we go. One, two, <laughs> two hits to a log. All right, uh, I'm going to get back on. That's going to make things so fast. Look at this bang, bang, done. Okay, uh, I'm going to get on with just getting like stacks and stacks of wood. It's going to be easy now. We're going to get heaps of materials and we're going to do some building. Okay, I'm back and I have been... Yeah, there's been a fair bit of time since the uh, last cut and that's because I've been gathering a lots and lots of materials because we're going to be doing some building now and the first thing I need is lots of concrete uh, because I'm going to need foundations and there we go. So what I'm going to do here is I don't really know how many I need. I'm just going to make lots. Yep, we're just going to use up all this stone. Uh, we have, as you can see, we've got heaps of wood. I've, I've probably over a thousand there. And there's our concrete. We'll put the limestone back in here. And as you know, the drills are going away. They've been going, so, you know, for hours. Hang on, where are we? There's all our stone. There's lots of stone. So basically, the difference with this build system, by the way, is that... You don't actually have to craft these construction components. As long as you've got the items in your inventory, uh, you're able to do it. So it's kind of cool like that. It, it saves you a lot of messing around. One of the things I do have to do is make lots and lots of wood planks. So I'm going to get on with that, make a thousand wood planks or something. We've got the stone, got the concrete. Then I'm going to show you where we're going to go and build because I found just the perfect place for it. All right, that should be enough. I've got, uh, I don't know, a thousand planks and a uh, thousand, lots of stuff <laughs> in our infantry. So it, it, it did take a little bit of a while, but not that long. I mean, obviously, if you've got a lot of other players running around, you're going to have less resources. But you can just look over there. We've got logs and stuff just everywhere. And you just, oh, I'm not going to harvest anymore. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. We don't want you yet. Uh... What did he have on him? Any, we don't need that. No, we don't need any of that. All right. So over here is the place. Uh, so basically we've got this valley here and I thought, where could I build? Where's going to be somewhere awesome? I need a garage. And I found it, this nice flat rock up here. Um, so my idea is to put the garage. Yeah, it's on a bit of a slope. I don't quite know what we're going to do here. But... We're going to put the garage sort of here. You, there's no stairs or ladders in this game. There's only ramps. So once you come up here, you've got this nice flat workspace here that we're, yeah, look, we're nestled under amongst this 
whatever it is tree look out over the valley so beautiful and i think this is the place for a modern house a new base that's what it is so i'm going to i'm not going to do a lot of this on camera because it's going to be um well for a couple of reasons one is you don't get your materials back so when you put down something demolish it you get nothing back so that's a huge waste of resources if i get things wrong so i'm going to have to sort of lay it out and yeah we're going to build it up here and hopefully i can get some ramps that's just nice and easy to just run up into the house like this so i'm going to get started i'm going to lay out some foundations come back to you when things are happening now i've just discovered a small problem uh, before I get started and come back to you is if you look at the alignment uh, these blocks I assume are north south east west but this rock that I've chosen is sort of on a bit of an angle here we're not going to let that stop us but yeah I just noticed that and I thought oh, that's going to be a bit weird trying to build but we'll do it all right well we've put some foundations down uh, if I get up a little bit higher here you can see there we're just sort of laying out the footprint of this place uh, and this strange thing on the edge here are trusses because you can't put down like overhanging you can't put down foundations so you've got to you've got to use these truss things but uh, you can put floors down on those and uh, you know that's not a problem grab your floor it does mean that you're gonna have this sort of concrete and then wood uh, floor arrangement now I'm a bit worried about how the ramp's going to come up here because it's a bit tight because they've got to go in this sort of, I don't know, I may have to demolish this corner uh, so that will work. Now uh, I'm going to keep going, get a little bit of the structure in place here and then have a look at it from sort of over there. Now we don't have windows in this game so I don't really know anything other than maybe create a nice little uh, nub wall here like that and then we can sort of oh I might have to put some down and then demolish them to create the sort of gap because it doesn't look like I can build off off this wall it's not gonna snap off there so I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to do this that's gonna be a pain something like that anyway just came back over to grab some food. I'm waiting for that to defrost. Frozen cooked steaks. Don't worry, it's warm enough <laughs> that they'll defrost. Yeah, it's coming to shape over here. Coming into shape. Shaping up, whatever. And we've got fairly limited materials. You've got wood and stone. And that's it. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's too bad. We've still got to get the upper level. And all I've been doing is just getting the walls on. I've got this little ramp here. And for the moment, the front door is going to be a door like that. Imagine having a front door in a house that's a wooden garage door like that. So you come in and, you know, you've got your big open area. You're going to be able to put your chests and uh, <laughs> Minecraft reference, your storage lockers and drills and things like that. Although the drills make a fair bit of noise. I don't know. We'll think about that. And we've got the master bedroom in here. Look, a nice little oh, beautiful views here off your, uh, what do they call that? The uh, Juliet balcony there. And it's you can shoot your animals <laughs> from up here. It's all good. I'm going to keep going, uh, try to get some just basic structure. We might not get this all finished today, but certainly get the basic structure down. Okay, I've just made this lovely little ramp here. This is our staircase. And you're going to be able to go up to the second level like this. Now, I've just realized something that these uh, floors, actually, if I show you over here, it'll be okay in here, but they can't, they have to snap onto something. And they can't snap onto them. So in the middle here, I'm, I'm a bit lost as to how I'm going to fix this problem. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going, oh, I've just discovered another issue there. So we're going to have to, add another layer of wall here because this is this is built on that section so it's only going to go out that way and you need a wall on this section to snap anyway the middle is going to be a problem i don't want trusses in the middle of the f i don't know <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to solve this problem come back in a moment okay i've i've solved it because there's it, it's all about where it allows you to build things but once you've built built them it 
doesn't have a problem leaving them there. So what does that what does that mean? Easy. What we can do is put a floor, uh, and then I can demolish these supports, and everything will stay here. I'm pretty certain. So I'm going to get this top level floor down. Yeah, that's working. And then we'll demolish the stuff underneath. Okay, that was easy. And then we'll just choose demolish. I know it's a bit of a waste. We've got lots of stone though. It's okay. Yeah, this is it. Uh, now we've got a gap up there. I think I, I think I can work that out with a short short wall. Oh, but then that's going to not look like stone. And it's not snapping. Uh, let's, let's ignore that for the moment. <laughs> We'll just get rid of this. So this this does work. So these these floors will just stay up there, looking all good. And then these walls here can go. I don't know what. It, oh no! I think I just demolished the outside. Yep. All right. I'm going to concentrate on this. Start to open this place up, and then we'll be good. Okay. I've put. I filled that gap in above the the entrance, but I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this uh, garage door. How do I get rid of that and not the... Like that? <laughs> That's kind of freaky, isn't it? Okay. It's... Uh, and then do a wooden garage doorway. Like... Uh, it's not going to do it while the door's there. Alright, let's try again. There we go. That's better. Now it's looking like a thing. And we will go... Oh, we could do stone. Oh, that's not bad. It's got a nice contrast there. Stone doorway. Very secure. Okay. And as you can see, I've got the, got the roof on. It's getting dark now. I'm going to keep going, get the second story on, and uh, come back with some progress. It's coming together, but I tell you what guys, it's been a big day. I'm sort of running out of time here, so what I think we'll do is we'll be finishing this in the next episode. I'm also looking at these trusses along the bottom here, and I don't like them. I'm wondering whether we just demolish, and you know, it's a bit thin, but it looks so much better than that. Those trusses, I don't know, I thought they'd look okay, but they just don't. <laughs> they look sort of half completed, like sort of half in construction, I don't like it. So we may go for this thin uh, thin action there with the uh, with the, just the floor, but I'll keep going with it in the next episode. This has been Snow Crash. I'll catch you later. Cheers, guys. Uh, driving in the house, driving, oh no, tipped over, off the house. 